We also have a new center that we're beginning in the island of Cebu, which is the Icon Hope Center, which is uh, a center for street children. And there are many, many street children in, in the Philippines. And they have no access to education, no access to, to medication and so forth. On behalf of the college, I would like to give my support to this initiative that the, uh, the boys have come up with in the sixth form uh, to try and break the record of the most consecutive number of rugby passes. St. Thomas College's world record attempt at passing a rugby ball is yet another example of the great leadership amongst the students of St. Thomas College, the collegiality um, and the support given to them by the whole community. The whole school will be exercising great courtesy in supporting the boys and encouraging everybody to, to do it whether we make a mistake or not. The project will be a superb thing in terms of the compassion that we're showing in raising money for a very, very good cause. This current lower six going into upper six have taken on the reins and want to make a real impact not just in this college but also internationally. Whether we get the record or we don't, I think we're going to raise a lot of money. It's going to an excellent cause, and you know, the awareness that is being raised from this. The ethos of rugby and the, the values that it stands for is something that stands behind our school values as well, so it fits very nicely with what we're trying to do. The pass itself has to be a rugby regulated pass, it has to travel the distance of five metres, and has to be going backwards. Although we'd love to break the world record, our primary objective for this event is to raise money for our brothers in the Philippines and we need your help to raise these funds. You can help us by donating at our My Donate page and the link for that is on the screen here. Don't forget how fortunate we are living in St Albans uh, at a great school and it's aimed to improve lives of uh, people in the Philippines who are in very much need.